So let's face it, we've all been fooled by the Mimic one time or another, but don't worry because after watching this, I'm going to show you how you can never get fooled by the Mimic again. The Mimic is one of those things that's really scary and really confusing kind of at first until you kind of understand how it works and get a better grasp of things. So here's the things you need to know about Mimic. So there are three pieces of evidence that you will get for them are Spirit Box, UV, and Freezing. Okay, they also have the added thing of having ghost orbs. They will always have ghost orbs, but it does not have a piece of evidence for them or count as a piece of evidence for them. Because if you mark ghost writing or ghost orbs in the book, you'll see it grays out Mimic. That's where I think a lot of confusion lies in a lot of the players because they're like, oh, I have orbs. Let me check it. Mimic's grayed out and you kind of forget about it, especially as a beginner. So here's my first recommendation for the Mimic is that you don't mark it in the journal. Don't mark orbs. If you get orbs, keep it unchecked. Or if you're really good, just keep it in the back of your mind. But this is why I think for beginners, just, just don't check it. Always think orbs are fake until proven otherwise. So what do I kind of mean by proven otherwise, right? So here's the big thing when it comes to mimics that you don't have to worry about. They will never mimic another form of evidence, okay? So like I said, there are three pieces of evidence that they will have are spirit box, UV, and freezing. Then they obviously have the added orbs. This means if you ever get EMF5 dots or ghost writing, rules out a mimic. You don't have to worry about mimic anymore. If you get one of those, you know that the orbs are real. So I see a lot of people kind of confused and thinking that mimics can mimic forms of evidence or mimic like anything in the whole game. And it's not entirely true. So let's go through what the mimic can't do, right? They can't mimic other pieces of evidence. And they also will not change ghosts during the middle of a hunt. So I've seen people kind of think that before, like, oh, this ghost changed things in the middle of a hunt. It has to be a mimic. Like, no, it's not going to. There could be many different reasons why you think like if a ghost footsteps get faster or slower. It could be many different things. It could be a Hauntu that's changing temperatures. It could have got line of sight of you or a teammate there. Like, it's not going to change things during the middle of a hunt. Here is actually how the Mimic works. So it will pick a ghost, and it'll be that ghost for about 30 seconds to, like, two minutes. Somewhere around there. If a hunt starts within that time, it's going to mimic the traits of that ghost for that hunt. So, like, if it chooses to mimic a Diogen, it'll do that for the whole hunt. It won't for instance, be a Dio that's super slow to you and then all of a sudden decide, oh, hey, I'm going to be a Revenant and catch up to you super fast. Not going to happen. You do not have to worry about that. So Mimics mimic ghost abilities and traits, but only for stuff that they can actually do. So for instance, a Mimic could mimic the Obake's six-fingered handprint that it leaves on the door. It cannot mimic the Goryeo dots that are only visible on camera with nobody else in the room because again, mimics do not have dots as a piece of evidence. So how should you best kind of handle a mimic? Again, if you get the orbs, I don't like to put it in the book. I just like to leave it out because I'm gonna be proven otherwise. Just if you get orbs, make sure you test for freezing, for spirit box and UV. Now here's actually a pretty neat thing that you can actually do with the mimic, right? So freezing takes a long time to get so that you might not get for a long time but you can actually be certain a ghost is a mimic if you're playing on three evidences without even getting freezing if you see the orbs and the ghost happened to touch the door you get uv then you use a spirit box and you get a response so you go in your journal and you mark orbs spirit box and uv it grays out all of the options but that means that the ghost has to be a mimic so that's a good thing because orbs, UV, and spirit box are some of the easiest and quickest evidences that you can actually get in the game. Because again, like I said, you could walk into the room, see the orb, it touch a door right next to you, you get the spirit box, you get the response, you see the UV on the door, you can get that all right away. It takes RNG for that to happen, but it is possible. So it's, it's kind of funny because mimics actually kind of get easier the less evidences that you play, right? Because you're going to get four evidences technically with the orbs when playing with three evidences. But if you play Nightmare, you're, you're going to get three evidences instead of two. So if you see the orbs and then you get Spirit Box and you get Freezing, well, you know it has to be a mimic. Um, same thing with one evidences. They will have orbs there and then you'll have another one. And then on no evidences, easy are the mimics are the easiest ghost to identify because if there's orbs there on no evidence, you know you have a mimic.
So there's another way to figure out a mimic without even looking for ghost orbs. And this is going to be if orbs are being stubborn or other pieces of evidence is being stubborn, such as freezing, which can take forever to get, especially if the ghost is roaming a lot. You actually can use different hunts to figure out a mimic. And this is also going to be the ideal method of figuring out a mimic if you are going for the apocalypse gold trophy way later on. So now I'm going to use this clip from a recent You Decide video that I had there where the ghost was being kind of stubborn. We knew we had ghost orbs and spirit box as our evidence, and we had already ruled out UV, but we never quite got to freezing temps. So we got hunted a couple times, both times they were both normal speed hunts, normal line of sight increase, normal footstep speed, nothing really stood out about it. Shit, I think it fucking saw me. Well, this third hunt happens and the ghost actually decides to mimic a hauntu because it was fast at first and as it came to us, it slowed down because the temperature increased and also didn't have line of sight increase like the others did. Bully me ghost. I knew after this that the ghost would be a mimic, but we never could confirm that freezing temps because the ghost was being a pain and roaming around everywhere that game. But that's why you always want to keep mimic in the back of your mind and not forget about it. There's actually some few ways that you can actually easily eliminate a mimic that you can click or tap the screen now to see that. Thank you so much to all the channel members and all the Twitch subscribers for all the extra support. I truly do appreciate it. Happy hunting, everybody, and let's learn how to eliminate evidence.